gently down the stream. Merrily. Hi. Hi, friends. Hi. How are you today? Welcome to, <laughs> welcome to story time. My name is Laura, and this is Mason. And we decided to go for a little boat ride today. We're going to go fishing. Want to come along? All right. Come on, join us. Let's row. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. <laughs> Did you bring a hat? I know it's a very sunny day, so you got to make sure that we have a good hat on. Did you bring a hat, Mason? Oh, we left it at the dock. Oh, no. Well, good thing I brought some extra hats just in case. Um, I brought this hat. No, I don't like that hat. Is this a good hat for Mason to wear, my friends? Maybe we should swim back and come back. No, stay here. I don't. Tr it's a long way back to the dock. Mm -hmm. This is a firefighter's hat, oh. huh? Yeah. This is the hat that a firefighter would wear. Hmm. But what about, oh, what about this hat? Want to try that one on? So it's too small for me, but. <laughs> oh, what kind of hat is that? Ah, uh, looks like a hat for a knight. If we had a horse, that might be a better hat. What do you think? Hmm. Ooh, I got another hat you could wear. Oh, well, another time. <gasps> How about this hat? What kind of hat is this, my friends? For sure. <laughs> You're going to put it on top of the knight's hat. Okay, we got a construction hat. Do you think that's a good hat to go out on the water with? I might offer some shade. Oh, uh-oh. Ow, that hurt my nose. <laughs> oh, I know the perfect hat for the boat. You ready for this perfect hat? Vikings hat. A Vikings hat. A long time ago, they used to pedal a lot. And we're using when we're pedaling. <laughs> so. That's right. Our friends used to, or, Vi or friends. Friends, the Vikings used to wear our, these kinds of hats when they were going across Not the sea. friends. If we met with you. I never met a Viking. You're right. You're right. All right, friends. Well, now we're going to do some fishing. I have my fishing pole here. Mason, you got your fishing pole? Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to go fishing. All right. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Ow, my hat. Oh, you know, fishing makes me tired. I might close my eyes a little bit. I got one. I you got caught a fish. fish. You caught a fish? It's a oh, I lost it. Uh-oh. I'll Maybe we can find it again. Let's see. Um, <gasps> it's coming. I can hear it. I can see it. It's fighting really hard. <gasps> ah, there it is. Ah, oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> this is a very stubborn yeah. fish. Okay, here we go. There go slow, go there. slow. <gasps> hey, look at We caught a fish. Hey, hey. Hi, can fish. I own it? Um, oh, what? It's slippery. Ooh, okay. Why don't you show our friends our fish? There's something very unusual about this fish. What do you what what do you see about this fish? What do you notice? Yeah, it's wearing a hat. Have you ever seen a fish wearing a hat before? I haven't, but, but you know what? Good thing I have a book. I'm a fish and I have a hat. About a fish and a hat. So we can figure out how this fish got its hat. It's called This Is Not My Hat. Tea this by looks, John Classen. This looks like the same fish. <gasps> hey, it does look like the same fish. Are you ready to hear a story and find out how our fish got this hat? All right, let's go ahead and sing our opening song. Ready? Okay, here we go. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Check your hands, check your feet. Check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, so now let's start our story. You ready for a story? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm a little hot, so maybe you guys won't see me at the end, but I'm going to take a little swim. Bye. Okay. All right. Say swimming. Bye. Um. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of getting warm, I'm going to take off my hat a little bit. All right, my friends. Here is our book today. This is Not My Hat by John Classen. Ooh, look at all that. All that seaweed there. This hat is not mine. I just stole it. Did he just say, did it just say he just stole a hat? Hmm. I stole it from a big fish. He was asleep when I did it. Oh, look at me. He's just sleeping. Oh. And he probably won't wake up for a long time. Uh-oh. Is the fish still sleeping? 
Did the fish wake up? Mm-hmm. And even if he does wake up, he probably won't notice that it's gone. Does he notice that it's gone? Mm-hmm. How do you know he knows it's gone? <gasps> Look, he's looking up. He's like, where's my hat? My hat was just there. Now it's gone. And even if he does know that it's gone, he probably won't know it was me who took it. Do you think that the fish knows it was the little fish that took it? Hmm, I think so. Any ideas why? Oh, look at his eyes. He's like, looks very determined. He knows where that hat is. And even if he does guess it was me, he won't even know where I'm going. Do you think the big fish knows where the little fish is going? I think so too. Hmm. Here's a little fish swimming along. He goes, but I will tell you where I'm going. I am going to where the plants grow big and tall and close together. It is very hard to see me in there and no one will ever find me. Hmm. <gasps> Who's that? What animal is this? It's a crab. There is someone who saw me already, but he said he wouldn't tell anyone which way I went. So I'm not so worried about that. Should the little fish be worried? Mm-hmm, because what happened? Big fish is like, where's my hat? Little crabs, that way. <laughs> the little fish keeps on swimming. He says, I know that it's wrong to steal a hat and I know it doesn't belong to me, but I'm gonna keep it. It was too small for him anyway, and it fits me just right. Do you think it was good for him to steal the hat? Do you think that was something he should do? Hmm, maybe not, huh? Is the big fish really upset? Yeah, would you be upset if someone took your hat too? I would be upset. <gasps> but look at, he says, and look, I made it. I made it to where the plants are big and tall and close together. Oh, he goes, I knew I was gonna make it. And here comes a little fish swimming into where all the plants grow close together. But look who's coming. <gasps> it's the big fish. No one will ever find me. That's a little fish says, but guess who's coming in? <gasps> Look at big fish is also going in. Uh oh, I can't see anything. Look at all the plants are too close together. They're like camouflaged inside there. I can't see them. What do you think is happening? Where's the big fish going? Left. What does the big fish have on top of its head? He got his hat back. <laughs> he got it back from the little fish. Nice, all right. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Yeah. So that is called This Is Not My Hat by John Classen. And one of the things I really like about this story is I love the pictures in this story, like all the, what we call the illustrations. And one of the things that I really like is see how we can always tell what the big fish is thinking by his eyes. He's like, oh, he's not feeling very happy right there, is he? Or when, let's see, when he notices that his hat is gone, his eyes look pretty like, looking upward like where's my hat where's my hat and it kind of started making me think about how i don't know about you but when i go to the grocery store or if i walk outside and go to a park i a lot of times see people wearing masks kind of like this and so i don't get to see their mouths or their nose i just see their eyes you see my eyes and i was wondering how can you tell how people feel just by looking at their eyes and not being able to see if they're smiling 
or being sad. All you can see is their eyes. So we're gonna play a game. I have a little fish here and our fish is also wearing a mask. Is there a fish? <laughs> can you see the fish's eyes? What does this fish look like to you? Is it happy or sad? <gasps> can we be happy? See how their eyes are kind of big and happy? All right, let's do another one. Oh, what about this fish? Ooh, what about this fish? Hmm, it's looking a little angry, huh? It looks mad. See how his eyes are kind of mad, squinting. Hmm. What about this fish? How are the eyes on this fish? Can you make a big, what kind of, what does that feel like? Maybe you got surprised or really excited? <gasps> yeah? Or what about this face? <laughs> what does that feel like? <laughs> kind of sad. Yeah, so sad. <laughs> or what about this face? Hmm. Maybe sleepy, tired, calm. Yeah, so those are some different emotions by looking just at people's eyes or in this case, our fish's eyes to see what other people are feeling like. Okay, now my next activity is all about camouflage. Do you know what camouflage is? Remember when we were looking in our book and I said, oh, I can't see the fish anywhere. They were inside the, all the seaweed. Can you find our fish in here? Can you see our fish? What if we went like this? <gasps> Look at the fish! It came out of the out of the seaweed, so it has some of the same colors. So we're gonna look at some other animals that also camouflage. So I'm gonna show you some pictures and see if you can find the animal in the picture. All right, this is gonna be kind of tricky. You ready? Here's the first one. <gasps> can you find an animal in this picture? I'll give you a hint. It has wings. It has wings. All right, here we go, ready? It's a butterfly. Do you see the butterfly hiding? Woo, it's hiding against a tree. All right, let's try another one. What do you see here? I see some leaves. Do you see anything hiding in the leaves? It's a bug, look at the bug. It looks just like a leaf. That's how it's camouflaged. Isn't that neat? <laughs> oh, I have another one. Okay, look closely. Can you see anything in this picture? Can you see an animal? I'll give you a hit out here. Rip it. Rip it. It's a frog. See, it's hiding in the moss. Frog. <laughs> oh, here's another one. This one's also really tricky. Do you see an animal in this picture? You see it? They go, how about this one? It's an owl. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let's do one more. Do you see any animals in this picture? See, there, I see a leaf. Do you see this? This is called a chameleon and it's hiding at the edge of the leaf. Look at it, changes colors to blend in with the color of the leaf. Ooh, chameleon. All right, good job, my friends. Give yourself a big round of applause. All right, so for our next song, we're going to sing a song about a fish, and it goes to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. And for our song, we need to have some fins. Can you show me your fins? All right, like this. And we also need a tail. We're going to wiggle our tail or shake our tail. We're going to shake our backs, okay? And so our song goes like this. It goes, I'm a little fishy, watch me swim. Here is my tail and here is my fin. When I want to have fun with my friends, I wiggle my tail and dive right in. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? I'm a little fishy, watch me swim. Here is my tail and here is my fin. 
When I want to have fun with my friends, I wiggle my tail and dive right in. Splash! Yay! Good job, friends! Awesome! All right, well, I want to thank you so much for joining us today for story time. It was really great to see you. We're going to sing our goodbye song. Okay, ready? Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands and we roll them really, really fast because when we stop, we have to say goodbye. All right, everyone. I'm gonna go find Mason. He's off swimming somewhere. Hopefully he found the dock. All right. Bye, we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, there he is. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.